All right, family, welcome back to Awoken Minds. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, etc. Oh, man, this feels good. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. So there was something that 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 came to me. Uh, you know, I always talk about balance. I think a lot of people talk about balance. And we tend to get stuck in the idea of everything's about balance. That's true. But also everything's about off balance. Everything's about swinging a little bit to the left, swinging a little bit to the right, moving a little bit up, moving a little bit back, go going all the way up. You know, it's 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 not just about balance constantly. Because if we are balanced constantly, something has to budge so we can either move forward in life or move backwards in life. Like something has to make us move, you know, an inch just so there's some... Um, Ability for some growth or some things that's going to make you not grow. And the reason why I talk about, um, you know, the dualities of life is because it's like you have to have. What's the saying? You can't have one without without another. Like you can't know how to be balanced if you never was unbalanced, you know, and vice versa. You can't know good if you never experienced evil. You know, you can't. You see what I'm saying? So when we understand that we um, start to dance with life. We're not just in the center of life, constantly being balanced and allowing for life to just um, come at us, which is okay. But once life come at us, that's when we have to make that conscious decision on how we are going to act. How are we going to address that problem with um, maybe that friend or, um, you know, your wife, etc. you know, cause you can't just be balanced and stay there forever. Something's always going to knock you off of that centerpiece. And sometimes you got to move off that centerpiece to allow for something else to come in, you know, you know, it's just like, eating you know you can't keep eating and eating and eating and expect for all that to stay all that food that you ate to stay inside your body something has to release you know so your food will have to release so your body can maintain its natural flow its balance you know, if you overeat, you become imbalanced. If you undereat, you become imbalanced. So you still have to have a balance, but you have to know when to be off balance and when to be balanced. You know, because it's just like someone who's praying for a million dollars. The chances of you getting that million dollars may not be as high versus if you uh, sat down and and strategize how are you going to uh, create an avenue for a million dollars. Or some people just want to go out and play the lottery and try to do it that way. And with the utilization of, of magic and you know affirmations and, and things like that and dream work. But what I'm getting at is if you just stay complacent and be balanced 
and you keep praying and praying and praying for, you know, that million dollars, but you don't step a little outside of your, your, your comfort zone to attain that, how are you going to move forward if you're just constantly balanced and not making any decisions? You know, life is about choosing. Life is about not choosing. Life is about giving. Life is about receiving. So the giving and the receiving in life is the degrees of imbalances or balances. So the point of being balanced is to maintain your your, your grounding where nothing, no situation, no person can knock you off of your center. You're dead smacked in the square of your uh, of of your box and nothing cannot move you off of that unless you consciously decide to move off of that basing off of the analytical uh, um, thoughts and analysis that have came to you uh, basing off of how you feeling you know and how you're thinking I think I just said that and then from there you know, you combine, combine all that in the heart region, and then you decide when you are ready to come off of your balanced state so you can go outside of that and attain that manifestation and then go right back into the balance mode. Um, I give multiple scenarios, examples, explanations about whatever I talk about, because there are diversities of people. People have different perspectives. People have different thoughts, different feelings about, you know, um, you know, teachers, about subjects they, they read, about what kind of car, you know, they want, what kind of food they want to eat. So this is why I give a variety of different explanations and scenarios, examples, etc. So one can overstand, understand, understand, and comprehend the full subject matter. So um, if this video gave you insight on balance and when to be, you know, in balance and how to attain things and still be balanced, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment, um, any questions, visit my website, which is awoken-minds.com. Uh, all my contact information is on there. Um, you know, if you are um, looking for services to help you better your life, um, guidance, that's that's what I offer, you know. It's um, a combination of, of this logical guidance intuitive guidance, spiritual guidance, however you want to label that, and all in that big pot of things, that big circle of things, that's when that healing, that enlightening energies come in, and then you can decide which direction that you um, would like to go. So, um, peace, take care.